today we got to fly out of stormy South Florida up to Atlanta, Georgia in the TBM 850. Let's get this started. Welcome aboard everybody in uh, wet, rainy Miami, Florida. Start up the TBM here. Getting the uh, little sign there to let them know we're going to wind up. Alright, starter is on. Starter light is blinking, ignition light is on. One of the first two things you want to look at, got a good NG rise up. So we're going to let that stabilize and reduce the fuel to low idle. Now you're going to have the light off of the turbine. And I have a rise of the ITT monitoring that so it doesn't exceed a hot start and the NG to monitor that to make sure it continues to wind up for a good start. Hung starts and hot starts are the two things with turbines you always look at. Right now everything's looking good. And there you have it. Good start. Starter comes off. Go through the flow, the start cycle. All right, we'll go over to Opelok, uh, the ATIS here, and get the uh, current airport information. Opelok, oh, transmission Zulu time 1748 Zulu, weather wind 020 at 5, visibility 8. Thunderstorms in the vicinity, rain, trace clouds at 6,000, ceiling broken at 7,500, overcast at 9,500, temperature 24.2.22, altimeter 3007, ILS approach runway 9 or left in use, arriving in the parting runways 9 or left and 9 or right in 1 2. The Basel Nish contact, you have Fish and Zulu. Alright, we have information Zulu. We'll go over to the ground frequency and pick up our IFR clearance. Opa Walk of Ground, good morning, November 851 Tango Bravo, over at Signature with Zulu, Tango Bravo. November 851 Tango Bravo, Opa Ground, clear to PDK Airport via the Miami 6 departure, Headley Transition, direct Stymie, direct Etor, direct Sierra Hotel Romeo Lima Tango, direct, direct the Whiskey Romeo Golf November Zulu 1 of Bravo. Maintain 2000, expect uh, flight level 30010 minutes after departure. Miami departure is 128.6, squawk 3662. Go to Peachtree to Cab, Miami 6, uh, Headley Transition, Stymie, uh, Etor, Sierra Hotel, Romeo, Lima, Tango for the works, uh, one arrival. Maintain uh, 2000, 300, 10 minutes after. 128.6, squawking 3662, no, right by one thing about Bravo. One thing about Bravo, is correct, safe parking. We are over at Signature, this approach in spot three with information Zulu, ready taxi, no, right by one thing about Bravo. Right by one thing about Bravo, Alpha is now current, wind 0604, altimeter 3006, scattered 4300, ceiling 10000, broken, runway 9 left, taxi via November 6, November. November 6, November. To nine left, number eight five one Tango Bravo. All right, we've got our new. One Tango Bravo. Ace there. Expect a local delay at the runway. Remain on this frequency till the and hold short of Tango. 
Roger, we'll remain with you. Hold short tango, 8510, brother. All right, so we already have all kinds of things going on in this flight. I'd like to welcome all you guys on board. So we're going to be IFR from Opelika, Miami, Florida, up to Atlanta, Georgia. We're going to the Peachtree to Cab. we got some big storms to uh, deal with today once we uh, take off out of Miami here. Hope you guys all enjoy these videos. If you do, please smash that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel. I'd also like to thank all my patrons on Patreon.com. A lot of hard work goes into making these videos, and the guys that support the channel is greatly appreciated. You get early access every week to the channel and the videos, and I try to answer all your questions over there on Patreon. So on this flight today, it's 572 nautical miles. We're going to climb maintain flight level 300, which is 30,000 feet. Looking at a projected flight time of two hours and one minute. Extremely large amount of weather to deal with here today. Look at this, guys. Right down here, tons of lightning, a lot of big storms. Uh, we're probably not going to get our routing as we have it all filed here. We're going to need deviations as we... Uh, to tend with all that. So it should be an interesting flight. Alright, here's the intersection of Tango. We've been told to hold short of this and we'll wait for him to give us uh, the rest of our taxi instructions to taxi up to the runway and hold short. November 1 Tango Bravo, continue taxi. You're number one for departure. Uh, the chair, or the lance will be holding short of uh, your position. Contact here. Good day. Uh, continue up to the runway and go over to Tower 851 Tango Bravo. Thanks. Good afternoon, Opelika Tower, November 851 Tango Bravo, hold short of 9 left. November 851 Tango Bravo, good afternoon, Opelika Tower, fly heading 090, runway 9 or left, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 9 left, fly 090 in the heading, November 851 Tango Bravo. Alright, we've given our takeoff clearance. Thunderstorms in Atlanta, Georgia, here we come. Final looks clear. Clear down the runway. Got 7,900 feet of remaining runway for us, taking off right here. Tower, 316 Alpha Papa, hold short at night. Oh, line up on center line. Right, here we go. Anybody, thank you. Use the power for takeoff power here. And takeoff power set. Oil temperature pressures all look good in the green. Just waiting for our rotation speed, where the airplane is ready to fly. Coming up about another five knots, here we go. Number six Alpha Papa, turn left northwest bound, runway nine or left, we go. And left northwest bound, and positive rate and Alpha indicating, tap the brakes. Alpha Papa, thank you. So, gear up. Alright, gear selected, up and it is indicating up. And we're gonna go flaps up, got a damper on. One Tango Bravo maintain 2000 in contact moment of departure. Good day. 2000 over departure. One Tango Bravo. Good day. Miami. Mean, good afternoon. November 85. One Tango Bravo. 700. Climb to 2000. All right. Five. One Tango Bravo. Miami departure. Good afternoon. Your radar contact. All right. He's got us on his radar. We'll put the autopilot on here. We'll go into IES mode. Autopilot on. And we will also now go to our onboard weather radar and turn it on. CBM 1 Tango Bravo, climb and maintain 4,000, content departure on 119.45. 4,000, 19.45, 1 Tango Bravo, have a good day. Good. Good new Miami, November 85, 1 Tango Bravo, 2,300, climb to 4,000. TME 5, 1 Tango Bravo, I'm departure, good afternoon. We'll go into 850 Break mode. 4407, turn left, heading 350. Pull the power just under 100%. Break care, 44, Flap lever goes up and over the gate. Now we can advance the uh, power up past 100%. I always pull up under 100%, that way if I had it a little bit too far, it doesn't jump forward on the torque when I go into 850 mode. Just a little safety thing I do there. Take the inertial separator, turn it off right now, you see this light, it's going to go off. We'll switch down here by my left knee, turn it off. Now it's opening up a scoop where you get more air into, flow into your engine. The engine will run a little cooler. TBM on Tanker Bravo, turn to the left, heading 350, climb in, maintain 5000. 350 up to 5000, 851 Tanker Bravo. Delta 795, connect by me center, 135.17. Alright, 3507, we got 5000 set up in our L2 pre selector. Departure with the 367, leaving 1500. Got the beach right down there, upper left wing. Envoy 3367, Miami departure, rate of contact, good afternoon. Tons of bad weather. 
We'll see how we navigate this the farther north we get up. Tango Bravo, climb and maintain uh, 7,000. 7,000, one Tango Bravo. I feel safe flying through yellows and greens. Caribbean zero, I uh, three, do not want to fly into altimeter, any oranges, three zero zero five, reds, or pinks. One zero Those are the colors zero. on the radar I avoid. Eight. Going up to 30,000 feet, so I'm adjusting my pressurization as we're climbing up. 1,000, 6,000, climb to 7. Our altitude alert. TBM 1 Tango Bravo, climb and maintain 1, 2, 12,000. I maintain 1, 2,000, 1 Tango Bravo. And then 1 Tango Bravo, fly heading 340. 340, 1 Tango Bravo. Right now we're looking good on the radar. Got a little bit of yellows over there to our right. Looking good straight ahead. Look off the radar. Right. Playing over there, the you'll wind. see there's some they bigger storms out there over the Bahamas Cut too. There's a lot of down. lightning all up ahead three, in here. 7777, good day. Ahead of us here. We'll zoom in a little bit. Hope you guys got your seatbelts on because it might get a little bumpy uh, coming up here. TV one Tango Bravo, climb and maintain one four thousand. One four thousand, one Tango Bravo. If you look down here at the zero. iPad, you'll see this is our routing today. There we are, three, a little four, airplane. Zero, four, three, three, and we're going to intercept the Headley transition, and then we're going to go up over Orlando and up into Peachtree to get. It looks like we're about to go into IMC conditions with this type of weather out in front of us. When I'm not going to be able to see out the windows very good, I like to go over onto the onboard weather radar. It's uh, little dome out the left wing over there, you're going to see it's basically sweeping out in front of me. It's accurate pretty much up to 40 miles in front of me, so I like to keep a good eye on this when you can't see out the windows. I don't like relying just off next red. There can be a delay with that. Storm, storms move fast. May not be accurate. The one time Bob will come and maintain 1-6000. I'm going to maintain 1-6000, one Tango Bravo. One Tango Bravo fighting 360. 360, one Tango Bravo. All right, so we've got a lot of different heading assignments today compared to normal, and that's the controllers basically setting us up to get around most of this weather and also dealing with the other traffic in the area. Thank you. As you can see out the windows, we're IMC. We can't, uh, just relying off the instruments. Can't really see out the windows, so that's the conditions we are outside the airplane here. One Tango Bravo, Miami Center on 13517. Have a good day. 3517, 85 Tango Bravo. Have a good day. Thanks. Just keeping a good eye on that onboard radar. I mean, we got yellows out here on the next red and stuff all in front of us. We're not painting anything. Significant, just some light preset. F New Miami, November 851 Tango Bravo, 16000 on the 360 heading. 851 Tango Bravo, Miami, climb, maintain, fly level 230. I mean, heading fly level 230, 1 Tango Bravo. All right, 230 set up in our altitude pre selector. We'll VS at 3,000 feet a minute to get us up there. Uh, what we have to be concerned right about is all this lightning in this line up here. I'm hoping we go right through this gap over here. There's a gap right basically straight ahead of us. I think that's what they got us pointed at. Since we just went through level 180, we'll go 2992 on the altimeters. Our speed is falling here. We'll go 140 knots. We'll hit the IS mode. Now the airplane will stay 140 knots. Anytime you push a button, you always want to verify on your instruments that the airplane is doing what you asked it to do. This is definitely not amateur day out here. With all these storms and the bad weather, you definitely want to be on top of your game. Number 558 Alpha Tango, Miami, Santa Roger. There's minor heavy extreme precipitation between you and Tampa area. You can deviate left or right as you need to when able to your direct bridge intersection. And we're cleared direct bridge, and uh, any vectors you can give me would be great. I'm up in the IMC, so I can't see anything. Okay, yeah, there's the area of minor heavy extreme precipitation all the way between you and Tampa, sir. Roger, it'll take Is that guy there? He's IMC. You see, he doesn't have the onboard radar. So he's like, I don't have, I can't see out the windows. He's IMC. Please give me vectors. He really can't see where the weather is clearly out in front of him. So he's flying an airplane that doesn't have this onboard weather radar. When doing these kind of flights, I really enjoy this. When you're able, play direct detour intersection. I do enable direct detour, one tank of brother. All right, we'll go direct enter, enter to detour, take a look and see where that looks. Uh, that's going to put us right into a big main red cell thunderstorm, so we're not going to go direct to that yet. We're going to wait. I'm going to basically stay in this heading right here until we get up 
Radar. Radar. Approximately. Another 50 miles, and then we'll go direct to detour. So if you look down here at the next red, this is the gap right here, is where I plan on shooting through. There we are right here. Right up in there is where I want to go, right through there. That looks the best bet for us. Picking up a little light shot. You guys got your seatbelts on, so it should be no factor for you. Bravo, climb and maintain flight level of uh, 310. Maintain file 310, right? 51 Bravo. All right, we cleared right up to 31,000 feet. That South is the service ceiling of, of this airplane. That was 1874, kind of Jacksonville Center, one to three. We are going right up to the limit, the service ceiling of the TBM 850, 31,000 feet. And hopefully that'll keep me above some of the stuff. Lower down here, the storms. Bravo, 31 good, good for me, one Tango Bravo. Tango Bravo, climbing 10, Bravo 310. Climbing and maintaining, flight level 310, 851 Tango Bravo. Uh, yep, there we go. We, yes, if that's good, we uh, will take it. Uh, hopefully keep us above any of the lower storms that we get above. We're good with the storm over here to the right, should be good no factor. We're going to be breaking out here and it should be a nice easy smooth flight from here on out. If you guys are thinking about becoming a pilot, whether it's professionally or just for fun, I fly this airplane as my job. Some days you got to fly when the weather is not ideal, and it's one of those days today. But be sure to check out my friend Jason Shepard. He wrote a free book, The Private Pilot Blueprint. It's a little guide to save you time and money and getting your private pilot license. He's also written a bunch of other books, uh, going through and getting all the other ratings. He has online ground school, M0A. I'll link that in the description below. All right, we're going to be leveling out here at cruise altitude. We'll let the airplane build some speed, set cruise power. And I'll see you guys a little bit farther down the road. All right, we are on heading assignments, we're going down to 6,000, we're back with you. We actually had to get broke off the arrival due to some bad weather up here as well. We deviated tons of storms. Uh, so anyway, we're showing about 11 minutes out from PDK. I got the uh, approach all set up and briefed for the ILS, two and left. They told us to expect the visual. It's been a very challenging flight, this flight. Uh, due to all the storms, that's uh, 1,000 to go. Our altitude alert, 7,000, sending to 6. But for the most part, we kept it pretty smooth. Maintain 4, go down to 4,000, one thing of Bravo. Thanks, the Maroon R2 Fox, Charlie now heading to We'll go pick up the ATIS real quick. Okay, left to 290, Bravo Charlie. This is Bailey 10, Bravo 6,000. Maroon R2 Fox, Charlie. Well, the power back is this next cloud might get a little bumpy because we're going so fast. We'll put our pulsating landing lights on. Yeah, two triple nine or visual two seven two eight Thanks, one tank of bravo. Mender altitude maintained five thousand. Five thousand one tank of bravo. It's a busy area, the Atlanta area. Oh, got some bumps happening around here. The typical Atlanta bumps once you get down to four or five thousand. I don't care what kind of weather it is, it's always bumpy. Number one tango bravo, fly heading two seven zero. Two seven zero one tango bravo. 
Tango Bravo, thanks. Center maintain 4,000 and kind of approach 126.7. 2697 at 4000. Bravo, Echo, took my call. Okay, that was for 851 Tango Bravo. 270 2697, 851 Tango Bravo. 270, going down to 4000 with information of our. ABM 851 Tango Bravo, run approach, line off number 3000. And you have made us November at full uh, P3. Hey, firm, uh, we have November 85, one Tango Bravo. PBM, one Tango Bravo, expect back to the visual pressure on 211. Expect 21 left, one Tango Bravo. Probably All right, we checked in, we've got information in November, we let him know so he knows we get the latest airport information. We actually have, it looks like a shower developing right over the airport. The storm. So it's a good thing we got the approach all briefed. Just in case the visual goes away. PBM 851 Tango Bravo, planning 300. 300, 1 Tango Bravo. There we go. Hey. Somebody's giving a shout out. Guess we got some Atlanta fans up here. MZ855, Atlanta approach, I dang climb 18. We got our heading bugs set to 300. Still 22 miles out. I think I see the storm that's by the airport. Yeah, this flight's been nothing but storms. We were supposed to be pretty good in the one storm out here, right by the airport. Go figure, right? Actually, I've got the airport insights right on the side of that storm. I have a feeling, though, that storm is going towards the airport. Put the tower frequency in here, stay one step ahead of the flight. PBM 851 Tango Bravo. Turn left heading 270, so to maintain 3,000. 270 down to 3,000, one tank of breath. All right, we'll get that all set up here. 4,000 descending the tree on a 270 heading. Yeah, it's showing red, orange, and yellow in that storm. I got the field sight still. I'm going to keep the speed up. It'll be nice to hopefully get on the ground before that storm rolls over the field. Wait. You can see downtown Atlanta over there at 10, 11 o'clock. You can see traffic. that storm. Traffic. We got traffic at same altitude. Looking in sight right over here. That always wakes you up. Traffic, 1 o'clock, same altitude. In sight. Uh, Vision the airport in sight. 11, 10 o'clock, 6 miles. We got the field in sight, 1 Tango Bravo. PBM 8-5-1 Tango Bravo, clear visual pressure, one 2 one left, there is a PA-32 on a three-mile base, PFR 2200, he's indicating uh, one 2 zero knot. Roger, we'll slow it up and uh, clear for the visual, 2 one left, 8 5 one Tango Bravo. PBM 8 one Tango Bravo, see you later, Steve Evans, contact feature to tower, one 2 zero point nine. Roger, thanks, and we'll go over to tower, 8 5 one Tango Bravo. Looks like the controller's a fan. Go over to tower frequency here. Negative, We're on the visual now for two and left. You can see this massive column of rain right to the west of the field. I really don't want to slow it up, but we have to. Tower of RA51 Tango Bravo on the visual for two and left. Another one Tango Bravo. Uh, join a five mile final run with two and left and reduce your speed so it's practical. You're going to be number two now following a, a Cherokee there on about a three mile final. Oh goodness. Inside. Looking for the Cherokee, one Tango Bravo. Reduce your speed. Uh, he's doing about 100 knots there, and you're about uh, traffic now. You're at 11 o'clock and two miles out to the case 2000. I'll just slow it up and we'll look for traffic. I'll make a five mile final for one, two on left, 851 Tango Bravo. Okay, number 851 Tango Bravo. Uh, traffic now is at 12 o'clock and three miles at 3000. There's a uh, B23 there inbound for only two runway. Roger, if you keep an eye out for him, one Tango Bravo. Oh wait, we got truck all over the place. We dump the gear in the flaps and try to slow it up here. Join a five mile final. We got tons of traffic to look for. A massive column of rain right next to the airport. One Tango Bravo, you can turn into the airport. They're turning in one Tango Bravo. I got the ILS set up, so this is good. We haven't been given clear to land yet. I really wanted to keep our speed up to get on the ground before this rain hits, but everything is going the opposite direction for us. All right, we're all set up for the landing. Turning the final here, you can see the, a lot of rain. Looks like we're going to hit a lot of rain, even on a short Thank final there. Yeah, this has been a challenging flight, I'll tell you that much.
Right, our traffic that I never saw right, behind us right, one mile. Number eight five one ten go Bravo, you number two now following traffic and show final one with two one left, Cradle Land, wind two two zero seven gust one seven. Cradle land, two one left, eight five one ten Bravo. Alright, so we got some gusty winds. Did you start our fight to fight Bravo whiskey? We'll be ready to Got the ILS all set up so it's real nice, I can just follow this in. Even though we're on the visual still, it just gives me extra guidance. So now we're in that rain. You look off to the right, you see uh, pretty heavy. 500. There's 500 feet to the ground. Looking for traffic, Nana, to Nana, Ace, yeah. Number five, four, two, three, Fox Red, turn right to Texas, Fox Red. Got downtown Atlanta Fox out there, you can see. Crossing contact ground, point six and other side. Cross two and right, contact ground, thanks for your help, thank you, There's our decision height. That's where we would have had to go, missed if we were on the approach, if we didn't see the runway. We can see the runway. One, seven, seven, one, uh, you have a report in sight. I'm sorry, repeat that, please. You have a report in sight. Thankfully, the rain stayed just off the field for us. So I'm not going to follow the ILS in anymore. I'm just going to get this thing down. Or I want to put it near the beginning of the runway. So ignore the uh, glide slope, guys. So we're going to go back to flight idle. Flare. There we go. Nice smooth landing. Center line and everything. Side of the airport. Number nine two Fox Road, Charlie PC Tire, right? Continue to back in the reverse. Then we'll get off here at Delta. Number eight five one ten at Bravo, turn right at Taxiway Delta. Hold short two one right, remain my friend. Red Delta, hold short two one right, remain with you one tango Bravo. All right, well. Get across the whole short bars here. The runways here are very close together. Wow, we just made it in time, guys. Get a right crosswind on that. Quote and crosswind. So uh, we're going to get across these whole short bars. And there's the other whole short bars right up in front of us. So we want to cross that because right now we have another airplane on short final landing right in front of us. So we're clear to the rear. And we're clear up front. So we'll hold short right here. Yeah, we made it just in time. That was pretty heavy rains right out there. You can see we got orange, reds, all right here. Uh, it's always better to be lucky than good. Cross 2 and right, and we'll go over to ground 851 Tango Bravo. All right, clear to the right. Number 5, number 9 Clear down the runway. And we'll go over to ground frequency. Each tree round on array 51 Tango Bravo just clearing the other side of 2 1 right on Delta. Need to go into signature. Array 51 Tango Bravo, peeps your ground signature. Take straight ahead on Delta right at Hotel. Delta Hotel into signature 51 Tango Bravo. First time using signature. I always usually use Atlantic, but with their tenant base pricing, it's cheaper to come over here. I hope you guys enjoyed that flight. If you did, please smash that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel. Also click that little bell to let you know when I upload a video. So you guys are coming up to Oshkosh this next week. I'll be there all week. We've got a great meetup schedule happening. So be sure to go over to steveonkenevo.com and check out where I'll be that whole week. Guys, hope everybody's doing good. And we'll talk to you again someday soon.